Hi guys, my name is Elon Zhang, and I'm going to talk about the Masquerade Museum of Art in, Virgi in Williamsburg, Virginia, uh, where I have interned for the last two years. And let's get started. So, Masquerade is a museum in Williamsburg, and the mission is, as we show here, uh, is focused a lot on community engagement. Here, I will use what we learned in the past few weeks to analyze how the museum is doing regarding achieving its goals and provide suggestions on how to improve. First, I did an environmental scan for the museum. From the data, we can see that Williamsburg is relatively affluent, resided mostly by educated people in their 40s. And this result corresponds with a major group of customers of our museum. I learned that um, most visitors of the museums are in their 40s and beyond, which falls in the baby boomer and Generation X group. And that's logical. We learned that a big part of our promotion is based on mails and emails. We send out handwritten gratitude cards. We post ads on local newspapers and magazines. The Generation X and baby boomers are big consumers of such traditional media. However, the number of college students, the Generation Z, who visit the museum is low. And this is rather odd for a museum located right on the campus. Why and how to improve? So here are my suggestions. The Generation Z, which is my generation, um, they use smartphones a lot. The smartphone is their preferred method of communication. On average, they spend three hours a day on their mobile device. And apparently, our major means of marketing right now cannot help us reach all the customer groups that we want to. So I suggest um, that the museum can be more active online. It can post uh, more information about this exhibition together with photos and pictures on its website and they can create a digital version of its exhibition catalog for people to download. Also, social media is the key. No one lives without it, especially for our gener generation. The museum does have a Facebook page. Um, however, I think there's a lot to improve. According to the 70-20-10 rule, the majority of Facebook content should be interesting, informative, or entertaining to its viewers. 20% should, can be sharing others' posts, and only 10% should be for promotional content. And here, from the snapshots of the page, we can see that there's only one type of post, that is, photos of a specific artwork with texts that introduce the work and the artist. This is great, but not very interesting when it is all that you can see. There could be more types of posts. For example, they can share more articles that are relevant to its exhibition. The museum could also start some interactions with the viewer, even share user posts on their page. Also, right now, I see that a lot of the posts are very academic. Of course, people who work in the art world would find these appealing, but the page could be more entertaining for those even not that familiar with art. There could be some videos, responses to social events, or even memes made with photos of artworks. In this way, the page would appeal to a larger market. Last but not least is the brand personality. In the second section, we learned about five types of brand personality. And based on the analysis we just had, the museum seems to have sophisticated image that appeals to the educated upper class group. But I suggest that personality should be a mix of sophistication and sincerity so that the museum would attract a wider range of audience. We can again go back to the mission. The community wants to engage. The museum wants to engage with the community more. Therefore, I think it should focus on expanding its market. Besides educated people with a taste for fine art, it can attract those who does not necessarily know a lot about art, but has an interest or a will to learn. In this way, the museum could incorporate into the daily life of the surrounding community. I suggest that the museum could hold more activities regularly. Also, the museum could improve its logo. Right now, it does not really show that the museum knows what their audience are like. And this, I think, is significant for a museum that is rooted in its community. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching.